warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello friends, back again on the MTSB podcast with us from class 8.3. I'm Benazir Mona Lisa and Aurelia Wilfa. Hi. As the host for this podcast. In this event, we will conduct an interview or what is known as Q&A. Here are Anissa Cindy uh, and Vanessa Zahwa. Hello. In this podcast, we will discuss about the impact of social media in the school environment. So after the COVID-19 pandemic, we all use social media both inside and outside school. As we all know, in this digital era and coupled with world conditions that encourage all students to do online learning, social media has bridged the two. So what do you think about the social interaction and online, and online learning at social media? As we all know, in this digital era, distance and time are not an obstacle. Social media has reached gap. Through social media, students can easily build a learning community. This certainly can improve the skills and abilities of students without worrying about difference in distance and time. I don't agree with the opinion of Zahwa. In fact, students will easily get distracted by things other than studying. For example, using social media to communicate privately instead of studying. Uh, in addition, social media will become students social interaction social interaction in the real world. They will be busy with their respective devices and social media and they will pay attention to their surroundings. I don't agree with Anissa's opinion, which states that social media weakens the social interaction of students in the real world. In fact, social media builds the students' self-confidence that they may not have in the real world. Through social media, students are free to argue and involve in learning activities that take place on social media. This will increase their confidence, right? I would like to respond to a statement of the it's true that students uh, would tend to be less courageous in expressing their opinions will be able to put self-confidence uh, on social media. However, only in the sphere of social media, while we live in the real world. Then, what is it a for? Whatever, if the students become dependent on social media, uh, which will eventually have an impact and an addiction uh, to social media. This, of course, will disrupt the pattern of interaction between individuals in the real world. Addiction to social media can be overcome by applying strict rules about when to access social media. Not only social media has potential to be addictive, but many other things that can make a person to be addicted. But this can be minimized. In short, I believe that use the social media has many positive effects when used properly, such as increasing self-confidence, making friends, and build a learning community. This, this can be realized if if balance with supervision from parents and teachers in synergy. So, what do you think about learning from social media rather than books? In my opinion, not learning through social media is more interesting and easier. In my opinion, learning through uh, social media is an effective because students will uh, because students can easily get distributed by other things and uh, doesn't bring a good impact on their focus. Wow, I think we got so many lessons from this podcast. Yeah, it's true. In one problem, we shall see that there are so many different people's point of view. The very cool reasons that be present, it was make us shock more surprise because we only see one opinion that are in majority while in the other side that one opinion uh, also that's also true in one essence we shall see respect we shall respect 
different opinion and shout at the other side. Okay, maybe that's enough. Thank you for your all time and nice attention who watched this podcast. Hopefully, we can do more better in the next podcast. Once again, we from 8.3. I'm Aurelia Belfa. I'm Renazir Mona Lisa. I'm Vanessa Zahwa. I'm Anissa Sundi. Say thank you and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.